Taurus is going to be your reading here for August 2023. Okay. Let's get into it. Deck is a little mixed up. I guess we just got to go that way. Let's see. What's going on with my Taurus for August 2023? What's going on with my Taurus for August 2023? What's going on with my Taurus for August 2023? Okay. Okay, I see that there could be a brand new idea on the brink here. But you could be blocked due to some finances. Maybe maybe you're putting some capital together to pursue a brand new idea. This is one you've built upon. This is a brand new one that you've built upon your old idea. And you're starting to get a lot of acclamation about this idea. I feel like you've gotten some validation here. Maybe you've discussed it in an open forum. And you're getting a lot of support from some, from some angles that you didn't expect support. You're getting support as well. I feel like you recently had to stand up for yourself in some kind of contract or you you had to say no to something or you had to put your foot down on something or you had to exercise your power uh, in an authoritative way, in an excessive way. Maybe recently you've had to um, change staff for some of you or you've had to change a big part of a company or you had to exercise your authority in some way. Right, um, that may have ruffled people's feathers, okay? But what I am seeing right now is you're getting uh, approval from the most people around your life. There's a lot of positive attention around you. You could be concealing some subtle heartbreak here, but I feel like most of your day is about work. Um, you have some new spiritual perspective as well. Before you make these next moves, I feel some of you are very much so consulting spirituality, tarot, or... Your inner side, your inner wisdom uh, on how to become something new. You want independence from the old shackles. I feel like this is a, a brand new life for you. It feels like spring every day. Okay. You've got this new perspective from mistakes. And uh, the context of it is you're ready to make a new big move. But you want some clarity here. Clarity you do not yet have. You're getting it. Um, but I think you realize that you can't get all the answers from yourself. Maybe there's a lot more research to be done, a lot more study to be done. I feel like you're changing things for the best. You don't want things to be the same anymore. And the reason for that is that you're not the same person anymore. There's some kind of transformation here coming that, um, you're ready to say goodbye to the old stability. And you're ready to go into some uncomfortable situation to make the best outcome. How people are seeing you right now is that you're very alone. You're very isolated. They are looking up to you in some way. They know that you know something that they don't. And uh, they respect that part of it. But people do feel like they don't know you anymore. People feel like maybe you're spending so much time analyzing the darkness that they don't know when you'll come out. Perhaps you're dealing with a project that won't have you come out till September, or maybe it takes flight in September. You take flight in September, some of you. Okay. The project gets initiated in September or nine days from now or the 9th of September or nine weeks from now, okay? Some of you nine months. Uh, you're going, you're deep diving to hone your skills, all right? Your hopes and fears here are becoming too emotionless. Maybe you, you, may, you have this air about you that you're disinterested with everyone you're wondering if that's the kind of person you're becoming or what would your life be like if you became that kind of person right but i do see that there's a genuine uh, principle behind why you're taking this distance from people and family i truly think it's for you to collect yourself and for you to gain knowledge and for that you're going to have to ignore 99 percent of things uh, I feel like that's on you know, the brink of making those kind of decisions, and that's what I'm seeing mainly. In the outcome here, I do see a step up in your home situation. This could be you inviting 
a new person to come live with you. This could be you taking care of things in your home. I see cooking. I see cleaning. I see having some guests over. Um, I feel like you're reducing the amount of time you spend with other people, but in the outcome, I see when this is all over, you are going to have some kind of a housewarming get together, or there's going to be a feminine energy that moves into your life and uh, is there to stay. All right, so let's see if for Taurus, if there's a person on your mind more than everyone else, Let's see. Taurus to the person, the person to Taurus, right? Taurus to the person, the person to Taurus. Taurus to the person, the person to Taurus. Emperor, the Knight of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands Reverse, Nine of Wands Reverse, and Six of Swords Reverse. Okay, this could be a situation here. I don't see this as a romantic situation. Some of you, it is. You may have had to um, take someone out of your home for good. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see that you are not giving someone another chance here. This is someone you've had to excommunicate. Maybe this person stole your ideas or messed with your ideas in some way. I feel like you were always generous with this person. But uh, I do feel like the new stance you've taken upon it is that you're the boss here, Taurus. This person could have been living a double life. They have this air of confidence about them, but I feel like this person could not be trusted. They have a very um, sneaky dem demeanor and they um, seek comfort over and over again. And I feel like this is the reason that your trust is broken here. You're not, you're deciding to not move on with this person in the outcome. This person could have been your family. I'm seeing that with the number six being a repetitive theme in this reading. Uh, you gave to this person, but you don't see yourself moving forward with this person. There's some part of them uh, that you find very unreliable um, maybe they used what they learned against you or they're very immature to the point of detriment And you don't see them as an asset to the team anymore This is someone this could be a maid for some of you someone you kick this person out of your house because uh, They're very selfish and you couldn't trust them. They were manipulative. They were playing a game uh, Running something against your heart or your trust something about your foundation is something they took advantage of and I feel like they this burden, person burdened you a lot. And for that reason, you're deciding on something new. All right, Taurus. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.